Cristiano Ronaldo with a shot to get back to even. Really has a chance to sink this one. It should go a bit forward to left. But he's got a good look at it. We'll need the ball back in his stance just a bit. Solid contact. And he sinks it. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? In the past, golf has been a mainly male-dominated sport in both the world and at Northampton High School, with 27 million male golf players in the United States and only 6 million female players. However, according to the National Golf Foundation, women golfers are the fastest growing segment of new golfers, with individual golf lessons and participation of women increasing in the past few years. As well as a nationwide rise in female participation, this past golf season at Northampton High School brought an increase in female participation. We met with Camille Richmond, the captain of the golf team and writer of a recent article in the Gazette on the recent rise in female golf players, and Mina Goswami, who recently joined this year to gain insight on what it was like to play a male-dominated sport and what this recent rise in female golf players at NHS means for the team in the future. Um, my experience playing the golf team last fall um, as the only girl in the golf team was different, but it made me a stronger player because I was constantly in a scenario where I was only girl, so I had to have the focus, um, and that in the end made me stronger, and it still does. Well, on the Northampton team, the ratio of girls to boys was pretty equal. I would say there were a few more boys than girls because most of the girls had just started. So. As a female golfer, I have to prove myself because sometimes people don't always think I can play. And um, while it is um, frustrating, it makes me stronger. So on other teams, there were more boys and girls. I rarely saw any girls on the other teams, maybe one or two sometimes, but we had the most girls than other teams did. On Monday, the girls' soccer team lost against Minichog 6-0. to zero. On Tuesday, the boys' soccer team lost 5-1 to one against Longmeadow. Also on Tuesday, the boys' and girls' cross-country team won their meets against Chicopee. The field hockey team won to Palmer 6-0. to zero. Last Friday, the football team lost to West Springfield 51-23, and the homecoming game is tonight at 7 against Minichog. Come support.